Knowing your kids is, is a huge advantage. I, I think they know me. You know, right now we, we we drew some deep lines in the sand and said, "Hey, this is the way we're going to be at Austin P." And and I'm convinced that it's the way to get better fastest uh, is to have great discipline in your program, you know, have integrity as far as your academic efforts go, uh, and then on the football field, just do everything you can to get better uh, through recruiting, through developing players. Uh, all that's in place. It's it's. I don't want to say it's easier to coach right now <laughs> than it was a year ago, but it is in a lot of ways, and it also makes you very excited about you know, what's to come. You want to have numbers to, uh, to kind of justify everything that you're doing and uh, that's why the off season was such an important time for us because we were able to show our players, you know, you go from a team that's got three or four 300 pound benchers to having double digit numbers now, uh, you know, five or six guys uh, squatting over 500 and now we have 30 some that are doing that and, you know, that improvement is tangible proof of, of your work. Uh, and your, you know, your physical improvement. Uh, and I think our spring practice uh, showed our kids that you know, the second year in a system uh, is, is so much easier and it gives you a chance to practice harder because you know what you're doing. And, and that'll transcend into games this year too. Is mistakes that we made last year on the offensive and defensive side, we won't make uh, this year because we, we know what we're doing and that gives you the confidence to stay on side. It gives you the confidence you know, to make the right decision. And uh, our, our, our kids are aware of that. And there's a confidence level that uh, you know, gives you a chance to win. Now, it, to get a win early, you know, double uh, builds that confidence. And, and that'll be you know, a, a real critical thing for our season is to see if we can't you know, get a win early enough uh, to kind of spur on our, our efforts and, and our improvement. Yeah, you know, I, I think a lot of times you bring players down that, that represent things not only to the community and uh, to the press, but also to your own team. You know, Nathan Sanders is a young man with a lot of potential, but up until really about the middle of last year, that's all it was, was potential. And now, you know, we, we consider him an all OVC type guy. Uh, he certainly has the, the strength and the, and the athletic ability, you know, to be that. Uh, you know, Corey's a, a guy that's had some ups uh, in the program and he's had some downs in the program. But last year with our injuries and our lack of depth in the D-line, he was asked to do a lot of things that I think hurt his development as a player. But this spring, uh, he was really, really good. And, uh, you know, I think he's got a chance now to, to go into the, the league and, and be an outstanding player also.